Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how my fiber to the premise has been installed, how I have my network set up, <coughs> and explain a bit about the connections. So if I just show you a quick photograph of what's installed in my house, what I've done, I've put two network points um, in the room I want, and they go directly to my firewall. BT install this mini ONT and it's got one port for the fiber as you can see here. This goes through the wall to the outside. Very neat install on the outside, you'd hardly notice it. This RJ45 you can see here, this black one goes to port two. I've kept port one spare for other reasons, <coughs> but this goes to the WAN port on my firewall. There's a telephone port here. I don't use a telephone, so I haven't got it connected. And this is the power. <clears throat> so I just show you a topology of what I have. So the fibers come in from the BT exchange or data center. It's coming to my mini ONT you've just seen on the wall. So the mini ONT is the little white, the little white box I said with all the ports. <clears throat> I couldn't get a good enough stencil for it, so this will have to do. And it connects to my 40 Wi-Fi 60E firewall, and it's connected directly to the WAN port. So that provides connectivity to the fiber via the black RJ45 you've seen and a patch lead. Then the LAN on my 40 Wi-Fi connects to my 8-port switch, the first four ports are normal ports. The other four ports are PoE. So this connects to LAN port one that provides connectivity to my switch. And then I have the Unify AC Pro 1750 access points. They're connected to port five and port six. So that powers the APs. Um, when you buy these, they do come with a cloud controller, which is an option for like 20 UK pounds every three years. I would highly recommend it. You can then configure every single feature of the access points online. You can have the app on your phone. It'll store all the logs for the three years online. So you can go back and you can analyze anything. You should really take a look at the controller. <clears throat> so if I show you the Fortinet now. Let me uh, just go in. So if I go just logging into my firewall, <laughs> okay, so that's logged in. And if I go to network. interfaces and you'll be able to see the one one is the one i was talk talking about that's connected directly to the mini ont downstairs and i have the lan that's got my lan set up <clears throat> now when you first install it you will not get an ip address no matter what you do even though you're connected to the wan and you think yep it'll work fine but it doesn't. So what you have to do is go into the WAN interface, select edit, and in here you will have to put just this name here. So you've got to be on PPPoE, type in this name, no password, and then it will connect. It might say trying to connect, trying to connect. It might take a couple of seconds for the first time. Every time after that, it works absolutely fine. And then don't forget, on your network, you're going to have to go in and go to static routes. And you're going to have to configure your static route to go directly down your WAN interface for all traffic. Yep. Make sure you set the WAN interface to obtain IP address automatically. So as you can see here, so if I just go to edit, 
Yep. So it's got DHCP and you'll see it will connect. It's not a fixed IP, so it will change on and off, you know, quite regular. But that's your firewall and that's all connected. So if I just show you a speed test now. <laughs> okay. And if I just click go. Okay, so you can see my average download is 229. I don't know who else in the house is playing on games consoles or anything else. Um, but that normally is around 350, 360, and the upload is consistent. What I will do in the description, I'll provide some links to where I've bought my products from to the BT site so you can see how they explain how it's installed and the firewall I have which I think you find really useful. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please feel free to share and what I would say is when BT installed it, um, it took about 45 minutes and the cable is about six to eight mil thick and you can hardly notice it on the outside of the house. So really good. Um, highly recommend if definitely if you're thinking of getting uh, fiber to the prem. I hope you enjoyed the vid and thanks for watching.